So earlier this year on the community section of my YouTube channel, I did a poll about what your New Year's resolution is for 2023. And uh, the overwhelming majority said to get better at low speed maneuvers. So this video is going to be about how to get better at your low speed technical skill, technical skill in five minutes. So the way I'll be doing this, I'll be explaining what's going on. I'm going to demonstrate a couple things. And uh, there's no test at the end of this. Only thing is, well, by the end of the year, your own ability will it, um, be improved or will you be static and remain the same for an entire year worth of riding and practicing. So this is what I recommend doing. So right now I'm just at a park, Salt Creek Community Park down here in San Diego. All right, there's normal traffic, people going in and out, working out and whatever else they're doing, right? So just in a random parking lot somewhere. You don't need cones. You don't need a tape measure. Um, you don't need to do any of my drills off my app or in my book. You can if you want to, great. If you want to set things up and do that, that's fine. But if you don't want to or you don't know I had any of that stuff in the first place, that's fine too. So I recommend in five minutes before every ride, probably is the best case scenario, the warm yourself up, warm the bike up, or at the end of each ride, let's say I lived right there in that church or that fire um, station right there and I'm about to go home. Well, five minutes before I go home, if I, or right before I go home, if I come to this parking lot for five minutes, so either five minutes before or after every time you ride, I recommend doing this. So again, you don't need cones, you don't need to set up anything, you don't need a parking lot. Um, this could be a dead end road. This could be a road that's just not a lot of traffic, like on your street. It doesn't really matter where. And you don't even have to get off the bike. I just recommend doing this. So if there's parking spaces, great. If there's not, it doesn't matter. Figure eights is the key. The goal is to do as tight as possible figure eights that you could possibly do on your bike. And every single bike, it is possible, because I have done it on almost every bike imaginable, to do a figure eight and both circles are 20 feet figure eights. So in my fourth book, Moto Jitsu Master Riding Program, Volume 2, one of the exercises is called Eyeballs, and it's two 20 foot circles back to back. And your goal is to do what I'm doing right now. Go inside a 20 foot circle, directly inside of another 20 foot circle and go the other direction. So that's the ultimate goal. Do you have that much skill and control over any motorcycle you ride, not just your own, any motorcycle you could possibly jump on? Can you go inside of a 20 foot circle in both directions immediately after one another, like a figure eight? So in order to start doing this, let's say I have parking spaces. Here's a big parking space, right? First, I'm gonna try to do a U-turn within three parking spaces. So ride the line, big old U-turn. One, two, three parking spaces, come down here. Now to start over, ride the line, then I go that way, three parking spaces. One, two, three. I could come back over here. So here's my figure eight. Start on the line, one, two, three parking spaces. You all use all the room I have. I go back over here. Touch the line, use all the space I can. One, two, three parking spaces. Come back over here, three parking spaces. And just get used to doing this. You do this for five minutes before or after every ride, and this is all you need to do to improve your low speed skill. If this is good, this is easy to you, you don't have to, like I'm not even using the rear brake. Clutch and throttle, that's all you need to focus on first. Clutch and throttle, big figure eights, right? Clutch and throttle. Use the line, one, two, three parking spaces. If this becomes easy, Shrink it down, try to do two and a half. So one, two and a half, you see that? And just get gradually tighter, tighter and tighter. And use a lot of room to set up. Like right now, I only have the distance between curb to curb to set up. But if you want a little bit more room, so come down here, ride the line, right? Just do as tight as you turn as possible. And then now go straight for as long as you want to kind of set yourself up, get ready mentally or whatever. And then do a right you turn so I'm doing a huge figure eight right now, right? But eventually try to tighten it up lengthwise and then tighten it up distance wise, width wise. So now two parking spaces, right? So I did two and a half, now do two. Look at that. Two parking spaces. That's a 16 foot U-turn. Super tight, super tight. There you go, and I have this whole distance to kind of reset myself. Ride the line, use as much space as possible. Look where I want to go, slip the clutch. I'm still not using the rear brake. I'm just using clutch and throttle. Two most important things is clutch and throttle. Don't worry about using the rear brake for a while, everyone. You can, it will help only when you have a foundation to work on, which is clutch and throttle. Clutch and throttle. If you feel like you have to use the rear brake in order to do any low speed maneuvers, you are limited in your skill. 
because it becomes a crutch. So if I take that tool away from you, which is rear brake, um, and you don't know what to do and you find yourself freaking out, um, it's gonna be challenging for you to get any better because you got so dependent on something. When I take it away from you, you're like a baby with their, without their blinky. Give me back my blinky, give me back my blinky. So don't become a baby with a blanket issue, right? Just do clutch and throttle. Now if I add rear brake, well it just makes it that much easier if I know how to do it. Just a little bit, slows the bike down. So it just modulates the speeds a little more. But that means if you're slowing down, you need to raise the RPM and you have to be better at slipping the clutch. In order to get better at slipping the clutch and using the throttle properly, don't rely on the rear brake right away. You see what I'm saying? It's all connected. So this is what you do. As tight as possible figure eights. Start as big as you want, start as wide as you want. Do far parking spaces. Say you can only do in four parking spaces. One, two, three, four, big U-turn, that's okay. Ride the line right here, four parking spaces. Humongous U-turn, one, two, three, four. We all gotta start somewhere. But just do figure eights. Five minutes before every ride, or five minutes at the end of every ride, this is all you need to do. Figure eights is one of my favorite exercises. Because you could do them really slow speed technical like I'm doing. If you had a bigger area, you could go faster figure eights and do like full by position knee dragging if you wanted to. Figure eights is like the key exercise. Plus, it teaches you to go left and right and the transitions are between two. It's not just left, left, left only. Right, right, right only. You, could, you gotta do transitions. So when to bring the bike up, how to bring the bike up. But eventually, this is the goal right now that I'm doing. So I'm using a little bit of rear brake, but it's back to back, extremely tight turns. 20 foot circle. Flip around immediately, 20 foot circle. So there's no reset time. It's just leaned over, straight to leaned over. And I'm not at full lock either. A lot of people think you have to get the full lock turns. Don't worry about full lock. You need more lean angle. In order to get more lean angle, you have to go a little bit quicker. Look, I'm going about eight miles per hour. Stand the bike up, eight miles per hour. So I'm pretty much consistent eight miles per hour. A lot of people think I mean low speed turns by going three miles per hour, that's too slow. You will not have enough lean angle to do these tight turns. You have to go faster and you need more lean angle. Like if I wanted to try to drop my foot peg on the ground, like I want to scrape my foot peg, that's how much lean I want. And the more lean you have, the tighter the circle will be. But I just do this for five minutes, not 20 minutes because you're going to get tired, the bike's going to get hot, the radiator will kick on, you know, you're slipping the clutch, you're riding the rear brake maybe if you're practicing that. And um, if you just keep on doing that forever, it's going to be kind of hard on the bike. And if you're not doing it properly, you could destroy your clutch. You could, you know, wear your brake out. But just, that's what I'm saying, only five minutes. Five minutes every time you ride, do some figure eights. I haven't gotten off the bike. I didn't put down any cones. It doesn't matter if I'm in a cul-de-sac. I could be in the back of a Walmart parking lot. I could be in a mall. I could be anywhere. It's only five minutes. So people ask me, how do I get permission to go in these parking lots? Well, I don't. I just go there and practice and do some figure eights. And if I'm gone in five minutes anyway, I could go to a police station parking lot for five minutes because by the time they look and see me out there and they don't want me to be there and they finally come down outside the building to kick me out, I'll be gone because I'm only there for five minutes. I'm not there for an hour. You see what I'm saying? Five minutes, just do figure eights. So that is how to improve your low speed skills, which a lot of you say you want to. But this is the disconnect that I see. And this is the main fundamental issue that I've noticed collectively over nine years of teaching and four years of doing my um, YouTube channel, all this stuff. This is super simple. It's nothing, it's nothing groundbreaking, right? And because it's so simple, people don't think it's effective or it's not necessary. So this is the funny part from my perspective. When I did that poll, 50% of you said you want to get better at low speed maneuvers. This video is exactly how to do that, how to complete, fulfill your goal this year to get better at low speed maneuvers. And it's so simple, just five minutes every time you ride. Before or after a ride, do figure eights. You don't need any cones, you don't need to download my app, you don't need my books, you don't need a measuring tape, you don't need a parking lot. You could go on a random road where you live, there's no traffic, just do figure eights for five minutes. That's it. If you just did that, every single time you ride, you will improve. And you just keep on trying to get tighter and tighter, right? Close the distance of reset time, close the width distance, and you just keep pushing yourself to try to get tighter every time you do this. My gosh, not even a year. Think of six months from now, how good you'll be if you do this alone. So you go out riding 200 miles in the twisties. You're with a whole bunch of your friends. 200 miles of twisties, 99% of your riding is on the road, having fun, riding around. But the last 1% before you go home or right before you take off, five minutes doing figure eights, that's all it takes. It's so simple, people think it's not true. Like the answer is too easy. <laughs> like 
like in math class or something, A, B, C, or D, or, you know, E, all of the above, or something like that. It's just, it's just so direct that people think there's a trick to it, that there's really not. You want to improve at low-speed maneuvers. You have to put in the time to practice low-speed maneuvers. You can watch all my videos. You could read every book. Nothing replaces on-the-bike time. You got to get out there and practice. Five minutes every time you ride is all you need. So hopefully this helps. Hopefully this inspires you to get out there and practice. Hopefully you've learned something to do and how to do it in a manner to which um, you can start off easy and then get way more challenging um, as you progress. And uh, thanks, you, thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel, there's Patreon, there's PayPal. You can buy my books, you can download my app, you can buy a t-shirt, anything. You know, but the easiest thing you could do is like the video, share this video with other riders. Um, and just, you know, help promote the channel, talk about Moto Jitsu to other people. But either way, I hope you guys um, get out there and actually practice this stuff. Because to say, to hear people say they want to improve on something, but not put in the work to do it, uh, it's kind of like, well, stop saying you want to improve on that, because I'm giving you the answer of how to do it. You're just unwilling. So it's kind of like a cognitive bias or like a cog cognitive like dissonance in your brain like this is what I want to do I'm giving you the answer to how to do it but you don't put in the last step of actually doing it so it's um it's not frustrating to me because it's like well it's your riding career if you want to get better this is how to do it but it's like it's just so simple it's just five minutes on your bike every time you go ride and if you can't do that you're unwilling to do that you don't have the discipline to do that um, it, that's going to be a re uh, reoccurring theme in your life no matter what you're doing. Job, work, education, doing the dishes. If you don't have the discipline to do something, you're just not going to be able to accomplish what you want. And you'll always have excuses. So, Anyway, that's enough rambling. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.